Hello, everybody. This is your prophet, your brother, your elder, um, Maurice Gilman, your minister, your teacher. And um, there's a lot of people that are very ignorant about salvation. And you've been attending churches for very so long and you have not accepted Jesus Christ or your Savior. Or you really didn't understand why you accept Jesus Christ. You haven't got filled with the Holy Spirit. You don't have no evidence of tongues or gifts and so the Holy Spirit is using me to, to reach out to you. Maybe you've been going to church all your life and you still ain't saved. You still backslide. You still don't have the Holy Spirit. You don't have evidence. You don't hear from God. You haven't recognized God. And God loves the fact that you're honest. He said, don't be a false witness for your pastor or the church members. Now turn to Romans 10 chapter, the nine verse. It says that if thou confess with thy mouth, the Lord Jesus and shall believe in thy heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou shall be saved. It's that simple. All you have to do is says, um, Lord Jesus, I believe in my heart that God has raised you from the dead. Now you're saved. That's simple. Then it says, for with the heart man believes into righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made into salvation. For the scripture says, whosoever believes on him should not be ashamed. So, there are some of y'all that accepted Jesus Christ and that you're ashamed of being a Christian because Christian looks soft. They call the Christians the holy rollers. Uh, they, uh, they, um, they think Christians are 65 punks and faggots to the males. Okay. Uh, right here it says, For with the heart with man unto righteousness and with the mouth confessions made into salvation. For the scripture says, Whoever believes on him should not be ashamed. For there's no difference between the Jews and the Greek. See, I know because the thing about it is the Greek, which are the Gentiles, the white people, they believe in gods, the little gods. And, and a lot of them believe and worship the devil and pagan. They're in that witchcraft arts. But the Jews worship the Most High God. That's why it was abomination to minister to white people, which are the Gentiles. And, and the Gentiles probably was abomination to hear from the Hebrew Israelites. They're not, you're not going to hear no teachers like this. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. So if you call on the Lord's name, you're saved. It says, how then should they call on him on whom they have not believed? And how should they believe in him on whom they have not heard? And how should they hear without a preacher? That's why the, uh, the Lord got me, Prophet Maurice Gilmore, to preach to you. I'm preaching his word. You with me. I praise God for every those that's enduring this. And those that's blaspheming, you just blaspheming the Holy Ghost. You blessing God, Jesus Christ. The Holy Ghost already told me about y'all. And how should they preach except they be sent? And as is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and and um, bring glad tidings of good things. And uh, the Holy Ghost used me in favor of North Carolina. I was part of a ministry called Glad Tidings. And the overseer was Francie Ghostin. And, and then she got married and had a husband named Pastor uh, Brody. And I was a prophet and elder there. I didn't have no minister license. I didn't go through no ordination, consecration. They heard from the Holy Ghost, all right? And how I met her is I was basically needed gas and I began to pull out my guitar. I was wearing my two-piece suit and dress shoes and I began to worship the Lord and he sent somebody to put money inside my container. And after that, um, the lady met me and, and wanted to bless me with money and I, I prayed over her. And it's a long story. That's another story. Brother Nate, I'm going to continue. It says, um, but they have not all obeyed the gospel. For Isaiah says, Lord, who has believed our report? If you just accept Jesus Christ and you're being rejected and people don't believe you, this is the Holy Ghost speaking. So then faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. But I say, have they not heard? Yes, verily, their sound went into all the earth and their words into the ends of the world. But I say, did not Israel know? First Moses said, I will provoke you to jealousy by them. that are not no people and by a foolish nation. I will anger you. But Isaiah is very bold and said, I was found. And Isaiah is my brother. He's a prophet too. But Isaiah is very bold and said, I was found of them that sought me not. I was made manifest to them that asked not after me. But to Israel, he said, all day long have I stretched forth my hands into a uh, disobedient and gainsaying people.